All right, boys and girls, we're going to be finishing our trifold paper today. So get out the kite trifold. I really hope you're enjoying the frog and toad story this week. Um, frog and toad, I just love those stories. They are some of my favorites. The whole book is really funny. They're just silly characters. Um, today, you're going to start with your think and respond question. The question today, how can weather change your day? Well, this is easy because I know you all like to go outside and play. So, um, and I know some of you got some new cool things from Easter to play with outside. Um, so how can the weather outside change your day? What would your day look like if the weather was bad outside or if it was sunny outside, okay? It could, doesn't just have to be bad weather. If it's good weather, what could you do? So again, how can weather change your day, either good or bad? You're going to write two sentences draw your picture of you doing whatever's in your sentences. Two sentences, draw your picture. Then we're going to move on to the middle. It says, the character is a person or animal in a story. The setting is where the story takes place. Who are the main characters in Frog and Toad? Well, the story is called Frog and Toad. It pretty much tells us the answer right away. So who are the characters in this story? We're going to say, the characters can copy that right up here. The characters are frog and toad. And we need to capitalize those because that is their name in the story. The characters are frog and toad. Now, there are the birds in the story, the mean birds that are giving um, toad some havoc. Okay, but um, they're really not the main characters. They're just, they do have a small part in the story. So the characters are Frog and Toad, and then you're going to draw a picture of Frog and Toad in the box. The setting. The setting is where the story takes place. Well, in this story, unlike our Mike the Lion story, this one, yes, the characters are outside, but it's specific. Where are Frog and Toad at when they're trying to fly the kite? So where is the setting of this story? The setting is in the blank. Where are they? They're outside, yes, but where are Frog and Toad flying their kite? They're flying their kite in the meadow. Which a meadow, boys and girls, is just a big open space a lot of times, a lot of grassy area. You might see some trees here and there, but a meadow is a big grassy open space that they can run and fly their kite. That setting is in the meadow. Then you're gonna draw your picture down below. All right, for the next part, we're gonna be um, sequencing the story um, in events from first, next, then, and last. And what I want you to focus on here is how Frog and Toad, the steps they took to fly their kite. That's what we're going to sequence. There were certain steps that Frog told Toad to do to fly the kite. So what did Frog tell Toad first? What did he tell Toad to do first? He said, run with the kite. So that's what he did first. Frog told Toad, run with the kite. And the kite did not fly. So he came back to Frog and said, Frog, the, to or, Frog, the kite did not fly. What can I do next? So after he said, run with the kite, what did he tell Toad to do? He said, wave the kite over your head. So run with the kite. Now wave it over your head. That was the second thing he told him to do. So he said run with the kite. Then run with the kite and wave it over your head at the same time. What did he do third? The third thing he told Toad to do. Run with it. Wave it over your head. Now jump with the kite. So now Toad is running, holding it over his head or waving it over his head, 
and he's jumping with the kite, okay? What did Toad have to do last? And this is what Frog thought got the kite to finally fly, but, but in reality, I don't really think this is what happened. Just like when we were reading Frog and Toad with the plants and they were shouting at their seeds, that's not what got the seeds to grow. But what was the last thing Frog told Toad to do to get the flight to kite? He shouted at the kite to fly. And he indeed did get the kite to fly after he shouted, after he ran with it, after he waved it over his head, he jumped a little bit and then he shouted, fly kite, fly. And then it went up in the air and he was successfully able to, to fly it. So again, if your sentences are a little bit different than mine, boys and girls, it's a-okay. It doesn't have to be word for word. I just gave you the gist of what you might answer, what you might need. If you did the overall story um, and you're checking your answers with it, that's okay too. Again, it doesn't have to be exact what I did, okay? Awesome job. You're done with this paper. Name at the top, back into your folder.